Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about Obsidian projects. Obsidian is great for writing, but not that much for planning and management. The plugin that we'll be talking about today, the Obsidian Projects plugin, tries to fill that gap in Obsidian. This plugin can help you to manage your node-based projects right inside of Obsidian. This plugin will help you to visualize your notes for project management. It allows you to not only see your notes in table and calendar view, but also board view as well as the gallery view. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up the Obsidian Projects plugin, how to start using it and how to manage your note based projects inside of Obsidian. So let's begin our tutorial. Let me take you to my Obsidian world. Here I'm inside my Obsidian world. Now we'll need to install the plugin called Obsidian projects. For that, you'll need to go to settings, go to Comte plugins, click on browse and source for Obsidian projects. The plugin is created by the talented creator Marcus Olson. So I'll just click on install from here and enable this plugin from here. There are no options here, only hotkeys available that are to create a new node, to create a new project and to show projects. I have installed the plugin called Obsidian projects. Now I'll create a project inside Obsidian. For that I'll need to choose a folder where I want all of the project notes to be stored. For that I'll use the folder 007 creation and I'll click on right click over here and click on create projects in the folder. And here are some options that you can choose from. So I'll just write YouTube content over here. Now you can choose either to use the data view or you can just use the folder query. If you use the data view query you cannot edit the content in the project. It means that you can use data view as well for query but the project will be read only if you use data view so i'll not enable this option for data view query so the path is 007 creation and you can also include subfolder i'll not include that here you can also add the default name of the new node that is created inside this project so i'll just leave it blank i'll add a template that i have recently created that is content creation for content creation and i'll click on create project now the project is created to navigate to the project you can use the command palette and search for projects over here and you will see the option to show projects or you can also see an icon over here which will open the projects that you have so here are two nodes that i recently have inside my this folder called creation folder so that's what it is showing let me just delete these two nodes and start fresh in here so let me go again back to the projects so projects and here is the project dashboard this is for youtube content so i'll just add how to use obsidian projects and the project is youtube content and the template will be the content creation template i'll create a new note let me add another over here how to take smart notes and i'll use the template again content creation i will add a few more notes over here here i have added some of the video ideas for youtube and i'm gonna be managing these ideas here we are in the table view and all of the nodes are arranged in a row and all of the metadata properties or the front matter properties of your nodes are added as columns over here let me show you the template that i have used for this the template is simple i have called i have the template here status is up next published is false priority is three no tags no image no due date so this is a simple template that i have used for the project and now let me just start by hiding fields, which I don't need. I don't need the path over here. Okay. Now we only have name, status, whether it is published or not, and the priority. Let me open this note in a new tab and add some more property to properties to this note. That is due date is 2022, 11, 15. And let me add tax properties here. Tax is obsidian and youtube so i'll just close this tab and source again for projects here we have other headers that are due date as well as tags so this is a simple example of a table view for your project now let us add a new view over here for that you can click on the button click on new view and we'll be choosing a board view name of the view will be a board view project will be a youtube content and we have added a new view for the project there are two options that you can use to manage your projects first is the status and then is the priority so we'll just go to status and select the status because that's what we have in the metadata property of our node and then priority will be priority so right now it's only showing up next column over here because we only have one property in our node 
so let me change that from here if we add a new status to a node called done then a new column will be created over here and let me add another over here that is status will be doing and there will be three headers over here right now we cannot move these individual nodes from one column to another column but it is in the roadmap for the plugin now let's add a new view the view will be the calendar view we'll just write calendar over here add a view now we have the calendar view and we have added a due date for 15 now let's add another due date over here that will be 14 another over here that will be 17 18 okay now we have added some of the due date for these uh, projects these node based projects now let us go to the calendar view and see if we, if we have got the options over here first let's check date is due check is published and week is let's go to month view you can see we have all the nodes that had date in the date in them added to their respective dates and we can we also have the options for check we have metadata property called published whether it is published or not a false means it is not published if it is true then it means published if i add the check mark on these nodes uh, they will have the property of published as true let me open this note in a new pen and you can see the published is status is true so this is a simple calendar view of the note you can also add a new note from the calendar view by double clicking on a date so let's say if i want to add a new note uh, for 13th november i can double click and you can see there is an option to create a new note over here now let me go to a new view called as a gallery view. and let me just add a view gallery view we have a gallery view for gallery view you have to add images for it to function properly to add an image to our gallery view we'll need to add an image in our front matter section so i'll just go to there i'll write image and i'll copy a link from the browser called let's say pomodoro let me copy the link copy link address and let me paste it over here and let me close this and in the cover section you can choose image and now you can see the image render over here but it is not currently rendered i don't know why there is a problem but that's how it works you can add images and all the images will be rendered over here you can either add the local images or also from the web so this is a simple gallery view where all of your nodes are laid out in a grid view what i like about this plugin is that i can easily switch from one view to another without any problem and this is a very efficient way to manage your projects and easily visualize all of the projects that you are working on or all of the ideas that you are working on especially for me i think it will be very uh, helpful to visualize all the ideas all the contents that i am planning or that i am creating on a regular basis so this is all about the obsidian projects plugin this is a simple yet a very effective way to manage node based projects inside of obsidian you can easily switch from table view to board view to calendar view to gallery view and you can easily create new projects and manage them inside of obsidian with this plugin I hope you find this uh, video helpful and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with more videos like this on Obsidian in future. Have a great time.